Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry I haven't posted any videos in a while. I've been mullet fishing this winter. Pretty much out mullet fishing every day since Thanksgiving except for Christmas. And that um, the mullet runs finally winding down so I'm back to beekeeping work. Today I had a bunch of bee boxes I had to bring out to my property here. And I brought my shotgun. I'm gonna go to the management area down the street. It just, um, small game season just opened this week. So I'm gonna bring some buckshot loads and see if I can do some hog hunting. I'm gonna be midday hog hunting. So what I'm gonna be doing is um, sneaking into the bedding areas, hopefully getting some hogs to stand up and see if I can make it happen. Stay tuned. I just got to the management area. What I'm gonna do is start going to thickets that I've found hogs bedding in in the past and just start easing into them, see if I can find any bedding hogs and just um, start systematically going through them and hopefully find out where they're at. I wouldn't do this um, during like deer season or anything like that. Um, it just, it would mess things up for other hunts. But um, being small game season, deer season's over here at this management area. It's also a good opportunity to scout the post season, see where the rubs and scrapes were and get some ideas for um, next deer season as well. So here's my first thicket I wanna check out. I do see a little bit of old hog poop here. Hogs will usually poop right out of their bedding area. So if there's not any here now, there were not too long ago. This is a good sign. It's a fresh hog bed, fresh tracks, it's been dug out, a little sleepy spot around the edge of these cabbage palms. Getting close. That bed is right here and right here is the little bathroom zone. That's the best sign to look for when you're looking for those hog bedding areas. So I shot a buck back here during archery, hit it a little bit high and um, blood trail it forever. Never ended up finding it. I just found part of a deer carcass here. A lot of times the coyotes will spread the pieces around. So I'm gonna look around, see if I can find the head and determine if that was my buck or not. But it definitely, last I found blood was kind of off in this area here. And there it is. I believe that is that buck I shot. A little seven pointer. It's a bummer not finding it right away, but at least I know what happened to it. I think I'm getting really close. I'm back in this palm thicket and I can actually smell pigs. I haven't seen any Well, that happened quick, but I jumped a group and this one ran a little ways and stopped and I got a shot and a follow-up shot. Whew. It's probably about one o'clock in the afternoon and most people don't think of hunting hogs in the middle of the day, but if you push through those bedding areas, it can work. Well, I got a nice pig down just pushing through that bedding area. A little while after I started smelling them, I jumped up a group, they started running off and this one stopped. I was able to get a shot off, dropped it. A lot of people don't think of hunting hogs in the middle of the day, but pushing through these bedding areas really can be effective. It's probably about one o'clock in the afternoon. I got a nice boar on the ground. That little pig. Mission accomplished, was able to not only get a pig, but also find the deer that I shot back in archery. So that was good just to know know what happened. I, that one was tough. I shot it a little bit high. I had a, I mean, it was an 18 yard shot. Just hit a little high. I had lung blood, um, good blood for a long ways. 
and then um, just never ended up finding it. I came back the next day and found blood way, way far from my last blood, so I know it had gone a long way. But this one didn't go far. Down on the ground right here. So the key to getting this guy was just finding those bedding areas. First looking for fresh rooting, looking for trails, looking for poop. And I actually could smell these hogs, so I just eased back with my gun ready and they jumped up and began to ran, run off and this one stopped for a minute and gave me a shot. Pretty good hog, probably 150, 170 pounder. A lot of these management areas don't require you to check in hogs during the small game season and this one doesn't. So when I'm in an area like that, I like to carry in my backpack some of these husky heavy duty contractor bags. And um, then I just butcher the hog right out here so I don't have to drag this big thing back all by myself. Well, I have this hog all butchered up. I got the pack full. It's all deboned in bags sitting here in the bedding area. There's <laughs> some fresh poop right there. And the key to doing this type of hunt is Really just um, getting some experience in the hog woods you're hunting, knowing where they like to bed, and then just um, easing through those bedding areas in the middle of the day with the wind in your face. You want to spook them enough to stand up, but not so much that they smell you from a ways away and run off without you ever seeing them. And it worked out perfectly today. This group of hogs heard me. They stood up and um, ran a little bit. That one just stopped, and I was able to get a good shot and put it down quickly. I'm getting out of the woods. Got a bunch of hog meat in my backpack, and I got my deer skull. Lost deer has finally been found. I'm glad to know what happened to this guy. And at least I get some horns out of it. So that was a fun afternoon hunting. And I think I'm gonna try to get up here pretty soon if I get a chance. Hopefully take somebody else up and um, be able to get some better footage. Now that I got a hog, I'd like to take one of my buddies up here and help put, put them on a hog as well. So stay tuned, we'll be bringing some more footage to you shortly.